This morning, we're going to do one of our favorite things. We're going on a food tour with Athens Walking Tours. But this time, we're going with friends. And I'm really excited because Jordan might be a bigger foodie than I am. Should be fun. Thank you very much. Greece is very rich in history, in mythology, in archaeology. And the last five years I'm doing also the food tour, which is something different, something nice. We just got a little rundown on the history of Greece and now we're heading to our first stop. Our guide, Torina. She is very Greek. I'm so excited. Kara really likes her accent. The Lukumades is like donuts, better than donuts. Thank you. I believe this is going to be your favorite stop of the whole day. I think it'll only go downhill from here. <laughs> We're starting with Lokomades, which is basically like the Greek version of a donut. Fried dough, cinnamon, honey, and, and donuts are one of my favorite foods. Mm. How happy are you? So delicious. I'm just glad you don't like donuts, so I get all three of them to myself. That was the best thing I've ever had. Pretty sure I could just end the food tour here and I'd be satisfied. Those donuts were like perfectly crispy on the outside, melt in your mouth on the inside. Now we're heading to stop number two. One of the Greek pillars of their cuisine is bread, which I love. This is called kouluri. I love sesame seeds and I love bread. This is great. We got it from a little street vendor. Apparently people just grab this for breakfast. It's very traditional Greek breakfast. grocery store where everything is from the island of Crete and they're even playing Cretan music. Did you make Cretan up? Yep. So this is like crispy bread and the history behind it is moms used to have baked bread fresh every day for her 10 or 11 or 12 kids in Greece and they would bake it so that it would last longer. So that's when they stopped eating only fresh bread. And it's dipped in really high quality olive oil. my second favorite thing on the food tour. It's like sour cream covered in honey and it is delicious. This is my third already. <laughs> they told us they were gonna throw the rest away so we're trying to help finish. They just let us try like four marmalades, a couple olive spreads, and several other delicious things. Yummy. Kara, it's time to go to the next stop. <laughs> Can't stop eating cheese. We're going to a meat market. It is called Bon this is a rabbit and we know that it's fresh because they leave the hair on the feet because apparently if you freeze it you can't do that. We have transitioned to the fish market. which is called spanakorizo with a little bit of tomato sauce and olive oil in the casserole. This is so delicious. 
head into the fruit and vegetable market. It actually halvas with an H means a sweet confection. Actually, the gray blend. That's weird. Oh, but at the same time, kind of delicious. Like kind of tastes like a sweet, burnt nut. With a Take some in your hands. I can't remember how to say it, but this is some kind of sausage that we've never had before. It's like a huge, like, tangular sausage. The meat has been pressed between two pieces of wood and they put like a bunch of seasoning on the outside of it. You like this? This is what it looks like before it gets cut. This is the fake version that they hang outside the store. Meat pie? Bugazza. Custard. 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 That's Delicious. a typical. <laughs> Those pies were amazing. Conveniently, my favorite one was the spinach and feta, and there was lots of leftover, so I had four. Now we're heading to our last stop for some Greek fast food that we've already become very familiar with. Yeah. Have you tried that in Greece? Mm -hmm. we have. We've already had two of them. Oh, okay. <laughs> the only difference between this one and the one that we had yesterday is that it has the white cucumber sauce instead of the, Just the honey mustard. No, which no, I think I'm going to like, like this. And eat it like a sandwich. Thank you. Thank you. This has been probably my favorite food tour, which says a lot. So I've really enjoyed all of them. But this one was so good and it started at 9.30, so I hadn't eaten anything yet, so I had lots of space. Jordan, Joanne, thoughts on your first food tour? If you come to Greece, get the Bugatta. It's like a custard pie, delicious. I've never done a food tour and uh, I was pretty excited about it because the reason I wanted to come to Greece was to eat. And so <laughs> this is the perfect way to do that. It was a lot of fun. Thank you Athens Walking Tours for having us. Now we're going to go climb a mountain and burn off some of this food. That's the mountain we're going to climb. Joined in with the dogs. Might be a food coma. Could just be resting up to climb the mountain. made a quick pit stop at the tomb of the unknown soldier and watched the changing of the guards. The toe tassels were an interesting touch. And now we're heading to climb Mount Lycabettus. We're about halfway up the mountain and we've already been rewarded with a great view of the Acropolis. Okay. Acropolis is right there, behind the sun, in front of the sun. Apparently the Acropolis a means the highest point, but really this is the highest point, and the Athenians decided it was too hard to build up here. They built it on the side. They didn't have enough room, they just built this little white church. 
We hiked up this mountain to work off all the food that we just ate. And then we got ice cream cones. <laughs> Jordan learned a very important lesson during the tour today. If you're traveling to Greece and you walk into a church, don't put your hands in your pockets when you walk in. Apparently it is very disrespectful and the priest will yell at you very demandingly to pull your hands out of your pockets. We are not Very similar to that. <laughs> what are you doing? Made me feel very uncomfortable, but it is what happened. <laughs> Since we went through priests, wear headscarf. Do we think it's alive? <laughs> I really hope he starts streaming again and starts doing his legs. That is something I will remember about Greece. Kitties. There are cats everywhere. 